Hello. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is demonstrate how to control the drop rate of an object using a global variable. So this is similar to in the Brotherhood quest line. When you speak to, um, I think Scribe Narai, as she's called, she will tell you, I want the viable blood samples from creatures. And then only after you've done that do the viable blood samples start to spawn. So this technique is going to allow us to do the same thing. Now, I'm going to assume a little bit of knowledge here, so I'm just going to demonstrate how to control the global variable, and I'm going to do that via a quest. So you'll need to have some knowledge of how you want to set your quest stage, and you'll also need to know where you want to place. You'll need to know a little bit about leveled lists and where you want to place your leveled list. But I do have tutorials on injecting items into leveled lists or um, setting quest stages with various methods, but I'm just going to show a scripting for the tutorial purposes of um, changing the global. Now, some of this is actually already done because my audio went messed up during the tutorial. So I'm just going to show you. This is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to show you what I've already done. So first of all, you're going to want to create a global variable. So you'll obviously right click new and give it a unique ID. In my example, I've given it the ID tutorial global and the value of 100. And I will explain why you need that value of 100 uh, a little bit later. Okay. So next, you're going to want to go to the leveled item section and right click new and create your new leveled item, giving it a unique ID. Now, your if you've created a new one, it will appear looking like this with zero in chance none and use global none. So what this means is that there is no chance that there were none of the objects in this list will spawn. Obviously, that is not what we want. We want there to be to not spawn at all. So I just need to go to tutorial underscore global and you'll see it's set to 100, which is the value we assigned the global earlier on. That means there is now a 100 percent chance that nothing in this list will spawn. And I've just added for tutorial purposes and a Braxo cleaner to this list. You presumably have something in mind that you might want to do. OK. Next, I'm going to go to the quest section because we're going to be handling our um, scripting via a quest. So right click new, give your quest a unique ID. I've left all this at the defaults. Hit OK, go back in and once you do that, you'll have access to all the rest of these uh, thingies. And as I said at the beginning, I'm going to be doing this via a quest stage. I assume you might have a method in mind for how you want to set your quest stage, but for tutorial purposes, I'm just going to be doing it like that. Just going to be setting it via the console. So right click new. Give it a, any ID. I guess I always go in increments of five. It's just what I do. Right click new in here to get access to all of this. And we're going to want to create a property. Add a property. A global variable property and I'm going to give it the same name as the global we created earlier tutorial underscore global and that will just cause it to automatically fill to be the, to be the global variable we made earlier and now all we have to do is set it a new value so we have to decide how likely do we want it to be that this object will spawn maybe we want it to be 50% of the time so you want to go tutorial underscore global dot set value 50. There you go. And that is done. So now the value of that global is 50, which means the chance none of that object that we created earlier is 50. OK. Save. And so now at the moment, this um, actually won't spawn in the world anyway because we haven't placed the leveled item anywhere but as i said at the beginning i only really want to focus on the syntax of changing the probability of the object and since it's random it's probably not something that i'm going to be able to jump in the game and show you happening because once you even if i were to go into abernathy farm and place the object in a container once it's decided what's in my object what's in my container it's not going to reload just because i changed the global that containers already uh, defined so hopefully that was useful uh, hopefully that was clear apologies if the tutorial has been a bit rushed because i said it have some technical issues and we would be in the christmas period i don't have a lot of time for videos but hopefully hopefully this was all right so thank you for watching and uh, goodbye